Hi there, my name is Sandy Alnock. I'm an artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to bring you another in the series of the 24 tags of Christmas for 2016. This is the third year I've done this and I always give away all 24 tags. So you have 24 chances to win a little mini creation. You can leave comments here on YouTube as well as over on my blog to get an extra chance to win. And the winners will be announced after the week is over over on my blog. So let's get started. Today I'm going to use Brusho and I'm going to use this die set from uh, Lanfron with lots of different little different size lights. They have different elements that go with them. I haven't even cut them apart yet so I haven't used those smaller ones because I wanted to use the two bigger ones as well as the string for them. So I'm going to use those two. They match up perfectly, those two dies. So I have them all die cut out of some scrap watercolor paper. I have lots of scrap watercolor paper around all the time and I'm always looking for ways to use it. So I decided I was going to use some brusho, which is a watercolor powder and I'm using it on the portion that is just the light. And with that I'm going to tap on some of this powder. If you're interested in seeing more about how these powders work, I do have a watercolor powders playlist on my YouTube channel. You're welcome to check that out but you can tap on different colors into the same pool of water, which I've just sprayed with a distress sprayer. There are a couple different kinds of sprayers you can get, little mini misters and that sort of thing. They all work, but I do tend to like the big sprayer because it holds more water and I can get a little bit more control out of it sometimes. The surface that I'm doing this on is called a craft assistant and it's made by Ellen Hudson and it's a 12 by 12 sheet of metal and it's black. So for me, I find it works really well on things that I'm going to get really messy with, especially because I can wipe this sucker off so easily and it just gets really clean because it's just a sheet of metal. There's no plastic or anything that's going to get stained and that kind of thing. And I'm going to just keep going around all these different lights that I've done, that I've cut out, and I'm just going to put different colors on here. If you have these powders and you just haven't had a chance to test out all the colors, this is a great way to just play with them and see what happens when you mix different colors together. And I'm putting like a little bit of one color at the top, a little of another color at the bottom. The more color you float on here, the smoother it gets. If you like the look of the granulated powders, then you can leave a little bit less water on them. You could also put the powder on first and spray it afterward. A lot of different ways you can apply these powders but they're a whole lot of fun, a lot of interesting colors. And there are also some powders by Ken Oliver. They work a little bit differently than these. I tend to like the Brusho a bit better and that's why I'm using them here, but the other powders would do the same job using this die set. And there's a lot of different things you can use these lights for. You can use them on cards and all sorts of things. So don't let yourself be limited when you see the tags thinking that it's all just for making tags. I'm using some tweezers to pick these up. And what I actually had done as well, just to make sure that they set up off the surface so I could pick them back up, I do have a little piece of dimensional adhesive behind them so that they're a little bit off the surface. It's gonna make them easier to lift. And I'll just heat set each one because I wanna keep some of that granulation. And if you let them sit for too long, then sometimes they'll smooth out a whole lot. But here they are, all finished and beautiful. All I have to do is attach them to the larger die cut. And I did so using some Be Creative tape, which I find is super sticky and works really well with watercolor papers that are kind of lumpy. For the tags themselves, they're cut out of watercolor paper as well. And I wanted some color coming down from the top. I'm leaving some white space at the bottom to say, you know, to Johnny from mom or whatever you're going to put on it. And I just sprinkled some in the top corner and I'm using some dimensional adhesive to put them on here. The adhesive that I chose to use on these, since they're watercolor paper, are Extreme Tabs from Tombow because they're super, super sticky. And it's real easy to just pop these on there. This is one of those things that would be easy for your kids to help you with, by the way, is, you know, getting them to do the brush portions. They could sit and crank out a whole bunch of dies for you, that sort of thing. Well, to put the string in here, I put a little half piece of one of those power tabs, the extreme tabs, underneath the top of one of my, my little lights, just that top section. 
get the string placed in where I want it and then just press it down and it's going to hold nicely and I have a hole in order to use to tie onto the packaging. With this one I actually did some brush -o work on the bag itself and I know this bag is slick I wasn't expecting it to work. It didn't move the way that I thought it would on regular paper but it worked well enough on this that I thought it was an interesting suggestion to give you so the bag will match the tag itself by having a little bit of that gamboge color of the brush -o. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was certainly a lot of fun to make. And if you'd like to see the previous two, you can click on those. If you're watching this later on in the series, then all of the annotations should be available to you. There are playlists for 2014 and 2015 by you can get to by clicking on those numbers. I'm also going to have them in the description down below if you can't click on annotations. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave comments here and over on the blog to qualify to potentially win one of these tags. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.